So um, the passage that we're looking at today is from Deuteronomy chapter 26, verse 1 to 11. And this is really before Moses is going to be parted from the rest of the Israelites. Um, and this is part of the instructions that he's given them. And he's talking here about as they enter the land, um, for them to remember God's goodness to them. And he gives them instructions that says, remember that the things that God has given you as an inheritance, like the first fruits from the soil of the land that God has given you, you are to give those first fruits to God. And to bring them to an altar, the priest will bring them to an altar, and that that was a moment in which they were able yet again then to really reflect on all that God had done for them, and that he'd heard their cry, he heard and he saw as they cried out from Egypt and that they were declaring, it was a moment for them to declare God's goodness and bringing them into the promised land. And um, at that point, Moses was saying to them for them to rejoice in all the good things that the Lord your God has given you and your household and I particularly do love that description of when they're reflecting of all that God has done and when they do say that the Lord heard and he saw and then he stretched out his mighty hand and an outstretched arm. And so you can imagine the comfort, the faith and the, the gratitude in their heart as they gave the very first, the best, if you like, that first fruit they gave that to God as a reminder that all that they had was from God. And I was thinking um, for us in our daily lives, um, you know, there's many things that we can identify with them in terms of uh, troubles or things where we've cried out to God and we can thank God. And there'll be other things where we're still very much there's things still in our lives that are happening. And, you know, and I think of like the people in Ukraine at the moment um, and their cries. And I know that God is using people all around the world to hear their cries as well. Um, but I suppose when I was also when I was thinking about this and I was thinking about the promised land in the now, um, I was thinking, well, no matter what. The promised land, our inheritance, our full inheritance is because God has given us Jesus. And so we can come no matter what and thank God for the inheritance that we have been given through Christ Jesus and through putting our faith and trust in him. And um, I was just thinking, you know, they in the Old Testament, there's quite a lot of uh, um, points where they build an altar and it'll be an altar to remember an altar to uh, come and thank God and all these different things and um, I don't know about you but I do as I'm getting a bit older uh, I don't know if that's about my memory or what that's about I don't know but um, a, a very very good friend of mine bought me I'm just wondering if can you see it it's um, a praying lady and she gave me that actually when I, I could identify with being in Egypt. Um, and so this, this stays by my bedside and it's just a reminder that I can call out to God. Um, and then the other one, this was a gift as well. And this, I suppose, is like... It's like a rock, it's like a reminder, it's an altar to remember what God has given me through his son, Christ Jesus. And that as Jesus ascended to the right hand side of his father at the throne, he left Holy Spirit. So I'm not alone, we're not alone, you're not alone. And no matter what else 
we can thank God for Jesus and for his faithfulness through his word and through who he is. And so I just really want to encourage you that Jesus, Jesus, find something if it helps you that you either have in your hand or by your bedside or in your coat pocket when you're out for walks. Another good friend gave me a beautiful pebble with um, a cross engraved in it. And um, during the day, I'll have that in my hand and I, my fingers run over the cross or I'll hold the stone. And I, um, I'm just finding things like that really, really helpful as reminders, reminders of God's full inheritance for each one of us. And um, I'm, I don't know whether I've got this out of context. I'm sorry if I have. But there's a verse in Micah, chapter 7, verse 1. Um, and a little bit of the verse says, There is no cluster to eat of the first ripe fruit, which my soul desires. And I was thinking about this passage, obviously, is also referring to the whole concept of tithing in Deuteronomy. And, you know, there is something about giving the first of what God ultimately has given us. Um, and I was thinking about that, that it's a good refining of our souls at once, the first ripe, best fruit, you know, and being giving that to God is also just really good for us. And so in that, I encourage you and I encourage myself to put my trust in God for his provision rather than rummaging around for that ripe fruit which my soul desires it's like I want to I want to get it any way I can and that definitely I have an example of that from about four or five months ago and I really took matters into my own hands to sort out some provision and the conviction of God because I knew it was wrong and I knew that I had sinned and I was really able to confess that to someone who was connected to it all and I was able to really repent and say I'm so sorry God so I just I just share that really because my soul's desire for the best and the right fruit and to sort it all out um you know it's it's there so i i need my altar i need my time to thank god and to give him of my first so i just really pray right now that you will know no matter what is going on we have our full inheritance in jesus christ amen thank you